Gay Lynn, I'm the Rhinestone Queen. You know, whether you have a leotard that you uh, buy or you make it yourself or you have someone make it for you, you can turn a leotard into a costume just by attaching elements to it. One of the elements you can attach is a feather boa. The first thing we're gonna do, the secret in sewing a boa, if you notice, this stretches, right? This, however, does not stretch. It won't move. Uh, so what we have to do is stretch the fabric before you sew it on. My cheat to do that is foam board. This is, I think it's about a half inch to a quarter inch thick. Might be three eighths thick. Uh, foam board that you buy at the lumber yard. It comes in four foot by eight foot sheets. I cut them to size and then I use them to put my costumes on. They make great uh, backdrop for sewing on. And then if I want to do some rhinestone gluing later, I cover this in a Ziploc bag, just tape it on, cut the Ziploc bag open and tape it on. And then you can glue and your glue sticks to the Ziploc bag and not to the opposite side of your costume. And it stretches it because anything you're doing to embellish a costume, you want to stretch it first. If you don't have access to foam board, uh, pull a big chopping board out of your cupboard and use that. But you want to stretch the costume. This little girl's uh, hip measurement, which is the widest measurement, is 25 inches. This is, if I measure it, it's 11 and a half inches. So that means I'm gonna have 23 inches circumference on this costume when I sew the boa on. I'd like to have 25, but I'm not gonna cut another board for that. This, because this particular boa is going from hip to hip. It's not going all the way around. If it were going all the way around, I would take the trouble of cutting a new foam board to make sure that this costume will stretch wide enough for this little girl to put it on her body. So um, let the next thing we do is just stick the foam board in and I'll put it on side seam to side seam. Stretch it over. So now you can see I've got the costume on. If I want to hold it in place, one of the things I do is take the strap and just pull it up, take a straight pin, stick it in the strap. Or you can stick it in the costume, whatever you've got to do to get, a, get it taut on the board. Not super taut, but just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing on the front side. Just so that my costume's taut on the board. And now I'm ready to sew. All I have to do is lay my boa out. I'm gonna start in the center on the second row because I'm gonna do at least two rows of this. So I'll start at the center on the second row because that's gonna be the least visible. And then I can loop around the front and what I do is I pin it on. So I'll put a pin here. I'm actually gonna cut this ugly thing off. They knot it. I'll cut it past the knot. I just don't want all this string that's a different color showing. Now I'm going to go around to the front and her hip is about right here. So I'm going to loop it onto her hip and put a pin. And then I go around I want to have a little bit of a curve so that it the back side curves this way, right? We don't want to go straight across. If you give it a curve, that's also going to make it easier to get on the body. So if I go up just a hair and let me pin it right here. You're also going to want to make sure that as you're pinning this on, you check to make sure you're doing it the same way on each side. My pin just came off of this one, so I'm going to repin it. There. And let's do this one again. You notice I didn't hit it right the first time? You probably won't either. It's okay. Just take your time, relax, don't let the feather beat you. And 
every so often, I'll put a pin. I thought it might be a good idea to take a break so I could show you where I'm positioning the boa on the costume and what pattern I'm following. If you can imagine, here's the back of the costume. There's the bum and the scooped out back. Here's the side seam on each side. And then if you ma imagine half of the front of the costume is on this side and half of the front of the costume is on that side. I started kind of in the center in the back and went around, looped it on the hip, went scooped down following the curve, and went back around to the other hip, looped around, and then this one just kind of overlaps there a little bit. And then whatever hole, it's gonna leave a little hole, whatever hole is left, you just put a little bit of filler boa right in, the, in this gap that's there. It may just need to go here, it may need to go all the way across, just depends how yours comes out. When I come to the other side, I want to make sure that this side hits. See, I have this little uh, a piece of the design comes down right here after this nude inset. So I'm going to look at it in relation to the nude inset, make sure that I'm at the same spot. I measure by fingers. My friend who showed me how to do costumes years ago, she said, oh, Galen, it's one fingers. And I said, what's a fingers? And she said, you know, your fingers, your fingers. <laughs> so, okay, got it. So I've got one finger measurement between the tip of that design on the side and the top edge of the boa. So when I do it on this side, I wanna make sure that I'm one finger away from the top side of the boa. Same thing on the front, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it the good eyeball test. Make sure that I'm even on both sides. And now I'll keep going around the back. I'm actually gonna go slightly, if you remember where we pinned this one, I'm gonna go slightly under that one, and then I'll come back and fill in a little bit between the two rows, because I want, I want it to be very, very full on the back side. I've got six foot of boa and a 25 inch hip, so I got lots of feathers I can use. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking the edge that I just cut and I'm making it meet up with the other piece of boa that was already on there. I do want to stick a little piece on the inside to give us that fullness. And I'm going to go from right at hip to hip. So it needs to be about that long. Remember, we started with six foot of boa. This is what I've got left. Okay, this little thing is pinned on. You can see this looks really great on the back side of this costume. It's gonna just be a puff of fur, and when she moves, it's gonna move, and it's gonna be fabulous. I think I'm gonna stick one more pin right in the center right here because I want to control where that center is. I don't want it to decide where it goes. I want to tell it where to go. And it'll be much easier for me to tell it where to go on this board than when I take it off. So now I'm going to take the costume off of the board so that I can sew it. see if you can see on the back side you can see the little pin dents and I'm gonna take a needle and thread and hand stitch each one 
all the way through and through the bow. I'm making sure I go and I'm going to hold it like this and sew all the way through on each pin. And that's why pinning is so important because that's going to tell you where to sew your bow out. Okay, so I've threaded my needle. Instead of using a single thread, I want to use a double thread. So I'm going to take the thread, take the two pieces of the edge, meet them together, and then I'll tie a knot in the thread. I'm going to use this product called Thread Magic. This is a great product to help Make sure your thread doesn't get caught up. You just run your run your thread through it and it helps kind of put a little coating of wax on the thread so that it doesn't get caught up in the boa. It's, it's gonna make sewing it a lot easier. I just put that cardboard there so you could see a little easier. So now here's where all my pins are. I'm just gonna stick the needle and thread in. I want to catch it really well. So I'm going to actually go over and under and I'll go through every other stitch. I'll go through the hard center of the boa and then I'll go all the way around it because I want to sew this thing in really well. After about four stitches, I'll knot my thread. I'll do four more and then I'll knot it again. So there's a knot, go back around, I'm going all the way over, then I'll go through, and then I'll go over again, and then through, and then knot. And I've got probably about it's probably pinned in about 20 places. I'm gonna do that for each and I cut the thread and then move on to the next one. And I'm gonna do that for each of the 20 places that it's pinned. After that, the bow is gonna be in. So here's my client at her final fitting in her finished costume. You can see that we blinged it out and added some bead fringe and I used that extra boa on the trim for her gloves. So it's, it's got a lot going on. She loved her little costume. If you have any questions about boas or anything else, please just drop me a line. Let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. Thanks so much for watching.